leader of a team, naturally, you want to be a winner. You want your team to be a winner. We're going to listen to one of the winningest coaches in sports history, rugby coach Larry Gelwicks. Over 400 wins, less than 10 losses in his entire career with 19 national championships. Larry knows something about winning. Perhaps the most successful win-loss ratio in sports history. Listen as Coach Larry Gelwick shares with us the number one championship principle for any team. Choose what team you're going to play for. Imagine in a big game, you're the quarterback, you know, and, and uh, you come up to the line of scrimmage against your arch rival. Maybe it's Cal and Stanford, UCLA and SC, BYU, Utah, you know, uh, Ohio State, and anybody. Uh, you're the quarterback, you come up, you're about to take the snap, and you think, maybe I'm, I'm playing for Cal Berkeley. Uh, I've got a blue jersey on, and Stanford's over there and we're doing everything we can to beat these guys and you have this thought you know we've been moving the ball we put a couple scores on the board I think I'm gonna switch teams I think I'll deliberately throw an interception I'll, I'll deliberately fumble the ball I may even put on a red jersey right in the middle of the game now honestly Steve what are the chances that would ever happen yes yeah, somewhere between zero and never why because in sports we know what team we play for we know what jersey we wear. But while we'd never do it in a football game, that's exactly what we sometimes do in our personal lives and professions. We fall for the biggest lie of the century. I can have it both ways. I can lead a, maybe a secret double life. Uh, I can live with one foot in Babylon and one in the promised land. It's a lie and it's always been a lie. Number one championship strategy, you choose what team you're gonna play for in life. So which team are you playing for? As the leader, it only makes sense that you make the first decision about what it means to be a member of your team. As Larry said, you can't have one foot in Babylon and one foot in the promised land. You have to walk the talk. You have to be the leader of your team. Be the leader. Next. How clear is your team on what it means to be a member of your team, to participate, to be loyal, to really work for your team? Which team are you gonna play for? It's just one more thing that great leaders do.